Welcome to Confident AF Live, taking your mindset next level to get next year's results today with me, your host, Brandon Foster. Are you a badass peep with big dreams, ready to turn your unrealistic goals into reality? Confident AF Live is the gateway to enormous new opportunities and unlimited possibilities. The unrealistic can suddenly become realistic for you if you believe it. Are you ready to take your dreams and results to the next level? Then stay tuned as we help crack open the door to new ways of impactful thinking and believing about yourself with mindset practices for badass people like you. Confident AF Live starts right now. All right, boo. Today we're talking about are you pushing things off into your future? One of the reasons I want to talk about this is because it can be really frustrating when you really want your life to be different than what it is today. And you don't feel like you're moving fast enough. You don't feel like God is working fast enough for you, uh, which is an ironic concept because God loves and adores you. The universe fully supports you. It's always working for your good. It's always working for your highest favor. And one of the questions that people ask me, especially my mastermind is how, Brandon, how can I quantum leap time? How can I uh, shrink in that gestation period between what is today and what I want to experience tomorrow? How do we get there faster, quicker, safely, right? Because the truth is, is, you can get overwhelmed really fast inside of your business and everybody, you know, everybody focus. I feel like so many people, myself included at one point or another, you focus so much on having that money. You just like, you just want that money freedom. You want the, the, the freedom and the safety of having that money. And the truth is, is that with, with what is the Bible verse whom much is given much is expected or much is required. So if you think about fulfillment as a business owner, no matter what you're serving or how, how you serve people or what or, or, or how you're showing up, the more people that are in your program or the more people you're planning vacations for, or the more people you're helping to sell their houses or whatever it is, the more, more people you have to serve, the more responsibility you have and the more bandwidth you need to have, right? So... How do we make sure that we are speeding up this process without setting ourselves up for failure or uh, crashing and burning, so to speak? We're not going too fast down the highway so that we lose control of the car and that kind of a thing is what I really want to talk about today. And there's Four things I wanted you to remember about collapsing time, quantum leaping sales, quantum leaping results, quantum leaping your business. And then there's three things that I just want you to be aware of to help you and guide you in the process of moving into your goals, dreams, and aspirations quicker than you ever have before. So the first thing I want to talk about is check your affirmations. So remember that an affirmation is something you choose to tell yourself or believe about yourself and your business over and over again. And an affirmation can be positive or it can be negative. It can be either one. And we want to only affirm positive things and forgive all the negative things and detach from those to create the most forward momentum inside of our life and our business. That means we are turning off the cold water, turning up the hot water. So we have only hot water. And a lot of people actually was on a call with someone last week and they said, thank you, God, that my future is going to be better than today. And it was like, well, what about today being better than yesterday? You know, what about change happening today and right now? Why are we affirming that God's goodness and grace and all the things is only available in the future as opposed to this present moment? And so the first thing I want you all to be aware of is what are the what is the language and the words you're using in affirmations? Are you putting it all in your future or are you declaring it right now? Right. And in fact, I had a coaching call today with a client and I said, listen, I want you to affirm this. Thank you, God, for the right clients right now that are right for me. 
Thank you, God, for the right clients right now that are right for me. Thank you, God, for the right clients right now who are right for me. Thank you that they are ready to invest right now. Thank you that they are finding me right now. Thank you that everything is working out in my favor right now. Like, that's the kind of affirmation you want to be saying over your life and your business is right now. Thank you that you're moving through the situation right now. Thank you for the clarity right now. Thank you that it's all being harvested for my good right now. You need to affirm right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, as opposed to putting it off into the future. So that's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say is remember that affirmations do not matter as much as how you're feeling. It's the feeling like you can say I'm grateful, but you also know when you say it versus when you're really feeling it. And it's the feeling of it, which is contagious and powerful and indescribable. And I've said this before on my podcast, but I'll say it again. My number one prayer every single day is God, please help me be more grateful for you today than I was yesterday. Please help me to be so much more grateful for you today than I was yesterday. And let me be more grateful for you tomorrow than I was today. Just feeling that joy of gratitude is like a game changer in my life and my business. In fact, I, I made a whole list and I have it off to the side over here. But yesterday I was feeling, then in the day I was just feeling not down is not the right word because um, I got things accomplished and I was proud of some of the things that I got done, but it didn't feel like it was enough and not a very good feeling. And I just wanted to feel God's support, love and grace in that moment. And so I was like, God, what do I have to be grateful for you today? And what can I be grateful for? And I started to list, like really list the things that I was grateful for yesterday. And there was so many things, so many things. And we miss those things if we're not paying attention. And that kind of a similar quote in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, life can fly by if you, if you don't pay attention or something to that effect. And so feeling is really important. And when it comes to not pushing things into your future and bring them closer to you and quantum leaping and, and collapsing time, I really feel like one of the best things you can do is just say, I love the feeling of being on the other side. I love the feeling of knowing it's already done. I love the feeling that the prayer has already been answered. I love the feeling that the solution is already here. I love the feeling that I already know what to do. I love the feeling that it's already done. I love the feeling that it's okay and it's here. I love the feeling that I'm being supported. I love the feeling. So feel, number two, as if you're on the other side, that you already have the thing, that it is already yours. It's working out in your divine favor, that you already have accomplished the goal, that you already have the resources, that you already have the clarity of what to do next. You already have the action plan, that you already have the tools. It's already done. Thanking for that. And then number three is gratitude. So I kind of already hit on this with the first two, affirming, because really the affirmation I was giving was a gratitude affirmation, which is very powerful and it's acting as if which creates the feeling number two of already being on the other side, but gratitude for it being done is, I don't know. I just feel like it's the best affirmation tool you could ever use. Thank you, God, that I already have the clients to reach my sales goal. Thank you, God, that the marketing plan is taking shape to have those clients. Thank you, God, that everything is working out in my favor for my clients and my team. Thank you, God, that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just affirming and having gratitude for things before they actually happen just puts you in that energy of it being easy and being okay and you're being through it already and really helps to, to get me through a lot of challenges in my life. A lot. Feeling the feelings of being on the other side. It's huge. 
Um, okay, so things to remember. So those are the three things to really be aware of to help you collapse time. And then I'm going to sugarcoat it with these other four things that I want you to remember. So the first one was affirm today, uh, now, as opposed to later. Uh, feel as if you're already on the other side. That's number two. And number three was gratitude as if it's all already done. Okay. Which is really the idea of declaring God's promises. If you're faith-based, it's deciding that they're already true and they're already showing out in your life, which is faith. Okay. So things that I want you to remember, you can collapse time more by asking different questions. So let's say that you want to have a million dollars in sales, but you don't believe it's realistic to have a million dollars in sales. So you start to ask questions for $300,000 in sales. You should stick with the million dollars in sales questioning because you're going to be given different answers and you're obviously going to have to surpass $300,000 in sales to get a million dollars in sales. So that's going to automatically set you up for more success by asking higher level questions that will challenge you and challenge your growth and help you to rise to that occasion will be more needed and, and better. Um, so that's the first one. The second one is remember that more preparation means more opportunities. And what I mean by that is I've said this before, and I don't know if I've said it on my podcast, but one of the things I learned that I found very fascinating about Kobe Bryant was that he said he never did something new on the basketball court. He'd already practiced it thousands of times before. And I remember that when it came to juggling in front of an audience as a circus clown, I would get way more nervous with the skills that I hadn't quite mastered and hadn't done thousands of times already. But the things that I had done thousands of times before, it didn't bother me. And then I also remembered that when I discovered a few funny things I could do if I dropped that always got a laugh, then I wasn't afraid of dropping anymore, which gave me more freedom to actually try new tricks and skills in front of an audience because I knew I was still going to get a laugh and I was a clown. So it didn't really matter if I dropped, which was a mental mindset reframe and an energetic reframe of how I was, was operating as a clown. So I say all this to say, remember that the more you practice something, the better you get at it. And you don't have to have clients to practice skills and activities inside of your business. What do I mean by that? In the travel industry, I always tell people you can book a vacation for a courtesy hold with a, a fake name and a dummy email address to practice the process first. You can do a consultation with a friend or a family member to practice that. You can uh, practice your itinerary building. You don't need clients to do that. You know, Um a lot of concept and ideas and some of the things that I've tried, I try first before I have coaching clients do them. My husband will try them. My friends or my family might try them. Like there's a lot of different ways that you can get your feet wet and try things before you're going at game time. And what happens is you're in that confidence, confidence loop. So because you're more prepared, you have more opportunities and the more prepared you are for opportunities, because I believe God doesn't set us up for failure then the quicker you can scale and grow your business and have bigger, more important opportunities. The third thing is, is there's different energy at being at the end of something versus being at the beginning of something. So being at the end of being poor and being at the beginning of being wealthy, at the end of being poor, you're still poor. At the beginning of being wealthy, you're wealthy. So being at the end of just enough and at the beginning of overflow, if you're at the beginning of overflow, you're in overflow. If you're at the end of just enough, you're still in just enough. So I really think it's important for you all to think about how you think about yourselves and where you are and that you're always at the beginning of it working better than ever has before. You're always at the beginning of it being easier than ever has before. You're at the beginning of having more clients than you've ever had before. You're at the beginning of being more blessed than you've ever been before. You're at the beginning of having more love than you've ever had before. You're at the beginning of all of it. You're at the beginning of the next thing of all of it in the best way possible. And then the last juicy reminder that I wanna have for you all for today is this idea 
that you need to be aware of the gestation gap. You need to be aware of the difference between what is and where you want to go and what you want to have. And that the bigger the change, the bigger the transformation, the more work, effort, and mindset work required to change the outcome of the situation. And a great example I give to people is someone who wants to lose, lose five or 10 pounds in a couple months for swimsuit season versus somebody who wants to lose 135 pounds. The transformation is greater. And because the transformation is greater, it's going to take more focus, more energy, more mindset, more practical actions. And it doesn't mean that one is technically harder than the other, but it does mean that one is going to require more patience, more understanding, more knowledge, more skill, if you're going to transform that faster. And if you understand that, it allows you to be patient with yourself. Patient people always get what they want. Patient people can afford to wait, but it allows you to be more patient and non-judgmental with yourself as you're in that transformational period. So that is how we collapse time and we achieve and manifest our goals quicker and faster than we ever have been before. Make sure you all like this podcast for me, please. Give me some love. Share this with your friends or family who need encouragement. Check out my YouTube channel and don't forget to uh, pre-order my book, Confident AF, Unleash Your Inner Badass. I love you, you. Have a beautiful day. You have been listening to Confident AF Live, taking your mindset next level to get next year's results today with host Brandon Foster on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Listen or watch live every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, where I help badasses like you with big dreams learn to take their impact and results next level turning those unrealistic goals into reality. Confident AF Live is the gateway to enormous new opportunities and unlimited possibilities. For more information, get in touch with me, Brandon, at brandonrfoster.com.